So I'm delighted to ask to come to the podium the three co-directors, Retsef Levy, Janet Wilkinson, and Joe Doyle. Please give them a welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Retsef Levy. I'm one of the three co-directors co of uh, this initiative. And I want to thank you all for uh, coming up, uh, coming today to um, uh, listen to us and share your thoughts with us. And I, I want to start by just uh, sharing you, with you the sense that for most of our faculty, one of the most inspiring uh, and rewarding uh, experiences is to hear students and alumni uh, talking about how uh, the experience and the time at Sloan made them passionate about trying to make an impact on the world and uh, inspired them to think differently, to maybe do some things differently and maybe uh, help them to succeed in life, both as, as individuals, but also uh, really uh, help us um, fulfill our mission of uh, making an impact, a positive impact on the world. And uh, speaking about this inspiration, I think that uh, the health, health industry is in great need for your, of your passion, your inspiration, your time, and, and your efforts, because it's, it's not only one of the most important uh, industries to our society that consumes a lot of resources and probably is not delivering what we would hope for, but it's also a, a, an industry that in order to uh, fulfill its mission has to really transform. Transform from an industry that is focused on sites, on activities of care, to an industry that is focused on patients, on communities, and really uh, is trying to bring wellness and health and manage it to patients at their homes, at their communities, here in the US and more, more generally globally. Uh, so that to me, um, something that uh, is very inspiring. Uh, it's a challenge of the type that I think uh, we as a community are w very well suited to actually uh, address. And I want to share with you uh, some of the things that uh, we have been doing uh, in the health, health space, both uh, on the educational uh, side and uh, the research side. And I, I want to start with students. This is an event. We have a lot of former students here. Um, I think that it's quite remarkable to see the passion about health among our students. It really cuts across all of our programs. Um, we have students from our executive MBA programs, from our regular MBA programs, from our LGO, Leader for Global Operations program, uh, from our master programs. And in fact, this passion now is spreading uh, across the campus. We, uh, just two years ago, we, beyond just the courses, the increasing number of courses that we teach uh, in he on healthcare, we actually, uh, Sloan is offering um, a certificate uh, that is a focused uh, effort, uh, focused collection of classes and, ac and action learning activities uh, in, in the health space that is offered to the entire campus. The entire MIT campus is attracting students from all over the campus, the biology department, uh, chemical engi engineering departments, PhDs, undergraduates, master students. So it's really remarkable to see this passion. And this passion is not uh, manifesting itself only through courses. It's also uh, manifesting itself through a lot of self-organized activities. We have a really unique um, innovation ecosystem around healthcare. Uh, there is a, a self-organized uh, student organization, uh, Hack Health, which is um, all about innovation in healthcare, uh, very much trying to address the uh, vision or the big challenge that I just uh, talked about. <clears throat> so I think um, that's kind of a big source of passion and energy around the, around the campus today. Uh, I also want to uh, mention that um, we have a lot of uh, engagement with industry. Our research, the 30 people, the 30 faculty that are, are doing research uh, in, health, in health currently are very much engaged and rooted in industry. And uh, we hope that by doing that, we also inspire the world, companies, firms, organizations to think differently and act differently in this, uh, in, in particular, in this industry. But let me just end my what I'm talking about today and hand it over to Joe by uh, setting up Joe to talk about an example that demonstrates why there is something unique about Sloan and MIT, which is the ability to really integrate disciplines and faculty and students from different dif disciplines. 
And Joe is going to talk about one example, and you're going to hear about several other examples in which you're not going to hear about the research of one single faculty. You're actually going to hear about the research of multiple faculty across different areas of the school working together to address big problems. But the example that Joe is going to talk about uh, is another example, is an example of another thing, which is how your support could actually facilitate this type of research. This is research that was enabled by a generous gift that we got from our, one of our alumni, uh, Chris McLeod. And it's something that is being done with one of our alumni, Joe Levich. Both of them cannot be here today, but I want to acknowledge that, and I will hand it over to Joe. All right. My name is Joe Doyle. I'm a health economist and professor of economics at the Sloan School. Um, I see some familiar faces out there. Uh, I wanted to welcome you and thank you for coming and spending your time with us. I'm really looking forward to our conversations we'll be having throughout the day. Uh, I, didn't want, I did want to keep my uh, remarks brief as well because we have this amazing lineup of really fascinating research that we're going to be seeing throughout the day, and I don't want to be taking up too much time on that. The reason why it's so amazing, though, is because this is, this is just an incredible time to be studying healthcare, the healthcare industry, both generally and at Sloan in particular. You know, the $2 trillion question is how can we transform U.S. healthcare into a system that provides high quality care at a cost, in a cost sustainable way? So that's the second part is the, the dismal science in me talking. Uh, we have to be able to restrain costs in some, some way. And to me, I see this at the core as a set of management problems. So the MIT Sloan School of Management through um, faculty and students and alumni across all these different fields, operations, finance, human resources, economics, sociology. We all have different lenses that we can bring to this very multifaceted problem of how to get more cost-effective care. So I did want to build on what Retsev said. One of the things that, uh, just to give you an example of the type of collaborative spirit that we're known for at MIT and at Sloan, working together, so Retsev is in operations research and I'm in ec economics, we're coming together to think about how to pay for healthcare differently. So one of the big ideas in this $2 trillion question is to change the way we pay providers. So most of you probably know this, right now we pay for volume, pay for quantity of care. And so the incentives are set up so that we're providing probably too much care. So this, we're trying to flip that on its head and so we're going to be paying for quality instead of quantity. So there'll be fixed payments to providers and then we're going to have performance bonuses. This is the big dream of health economists everywhere. We're going to get it done. So, you know, providers have started to um, under, undergo, uh, come under these types of contracts, whether it's Medicare, experimenting with these types of things. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts is a major innovator in this area. And we see that the organizations are starting to be paid that way, but, when we, but Retsef and I are trying to go inside the organization and see how actually the physicians are being paid, and there's a disconnect. The organizations are starting to be paid one way, the physicians are still being paid on a fee-for-service basis for the most part. So we're right at that point of a transition of how are we going to get that done? And there are tons of interesting questions of what, what we want to do. If you want to reward quality, well, what quality measures? Process measures that physicians have more control over or outcome measures that they have less control over but that we ultimately care more about? Do you want to reward levels of performance or growth in performance? And what kind of perverse incentives will that set up if you set up a, a growth performance type of um, scenario? So along with alumni, we're, we're surveying um, providers across the country, we're, that's what we're embark embarking on, and we're working with providers in Ma Massachusetts to try to roll out these, these changes. And so I've learned a lot about the strange incentives that happen within hospitals that it, it will make good, uh, good stories for my, when I teach introductory microeconomics to, uh, to MBAs next year. So I just um, wanted to leave it there. I'm looking forward to speaking with you all, and I'll hand it over to Janet. Thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your lunch. And I just want to say thank you to New York. When I arrived yesterday, it reminded me that there are actually people living in the Northeast not under a feet of snow or two feet of snow right now. So I'm grateful to that, for that, to see that there is actually green grass out there. So thank you. And also, I want to say thank you for coming today. I know, as um, Dean Schmidtlein said, many of you are busy, and it's great of you to take the time to be here with us. And we have a wonderful program for you. This is our first official conference since we formed, officially formed our initiative for health systems innovation at Sloan last July. So welcome, so you get to be first, which is always very important, especially if you're from MIT. Um, and as you know, MIT never shies away from society's large problems. And um, if you think about healthcare, 
that touches every person in the world. So what better problem for all of us to take on and to tackle than the health of our population? So that's why this group of faculty have come together at Sloan to collaborate, bring new ideas, and truly make a difference in the health industry and the health community and the wellness of our, our population. You'll hear a lot about the research today. And one other thing, of course, that we do a lot of at MIT is teaching and mentoring. And part of that you'll get to see when you go outside into the lounge today where we have a number of posters set up. Those are posters from our students who take a course called Healthcare Lab and also Global Health Lab who work on projects inside organizations throughout the world. And at the culmination of the course that they're in, they create those posters and share them as broadly as possible. In addition, you're going to hear about, um, of course, innovation here. We have some wonderful students who are, have startup companies. They're innovators. They're going to be here to tell you about the kinds of entrepreneurial activities and innovation that we're driving through our initiative as well. Also, Retsev mentioned our healthcare certificate. We are giving that to students who get their MBA and, in addition, want to take five more courses focusing on healthcare so they graduate with an MBA and a certificate. And what's interesting is we're finding that students from the other side of campus are quite interested as well. And we have a number of PhDs, for instance, in biology, who will also be getting the certificate this year. We also have a very large and active healthcare club. Right now, they have a mem membership of about 70 students. They work closely with us in terms of employment for students. They run their own bioinnovations conference. We do a seminar series together. So there again is something that we're trying to incorporate in the work we're doing with our initiative. So this afternoon, you're going to hear from three students, as I mentioned, uh, Ben Marowitz, Samantha Simmons, and John Lewandowski, who are really remarkable because they are students, very active in their academic work, as well as taking time out to be innovative, creative, and do business startups which when you think about MIT, where is there a better place for students to learn the opportunities that are there to create their own ideas and their own startup businesses? So we're passing this on to the next generation and trying to do what we can to encourage their work. And as a matter of fact, yesterday I met an M uh, Sloan alum from, I believe, 2006. So hot off the presses in my hand, like show and tell, is a new device, which is called, it's by a company called Kinza the world's smartest thermometer. Now, if you're going to have a tagline for a product, you want it to be the world's smartest. And what's interesting is this is a thermometer, and there are brochures out there of anyone who's really interested in this, that connects into your um, smartphone. It takes a temperature like a regular old thermometer. And by the way, I do not have any investment in this company, so I'm not selling on their behalf. But um, it takes your, th your temperature, great, that's wonderful. But the re real idea is the software inside your smartphone, which will track your history for your entire family of their health, and also has a group option, which means they're trying to identify where are their clusters of disease. For instance, flu. Do you find out because a lot of kids in the school have the flu? Do you find out about measles because there's a cluster somewhere and you, have, you are aware of that happening? So they're using the power of their software, um, and the thermometer is just part one of that. So as I said, there's a lot of excitement going on here. Um, in addition to hearing from the faculty and their research, we also will have wonderful keynotes from um, an MIT alumnus, Ron Williams, former CEO of Aetna. And we're also having Dr. Peter Slavin, who is the CEO of Mass General Hospital. And they'll also speak with us this afternoon. So we hope you enjoy the program today. And I will take this opportunity now to introduce our first speaker, Kate Kellogg. She's a professor at the School of Management, of course. And she's doing amazing research out in the field, spending a lot of time with doctors in hospitals, um, understanding the culture, um, what they're doing, how they're succeeding, or perhaps not succeeding. And if you have the opportunity, please get a hold of her book called Challenging Operations, which gives you a really good sense of the work that she's been doing over the years.